2024. Happy uh, New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Hope you all had a great Christmas and uh, didn't overindulge like uh, Linda did. No <laughs> <laughs> talking. I'm breathing in. So we're back, uh, full of energy. Uh, yes, full of energy, <laughs> raring to go. We now want to get this cover on the polytunnel. Uh, it's a little bit complicated. We have been having some discussions before this, um, which uh, I'm now more confused than I was when I walked. When we started. Yeah, so um, I think we're just going to wing it, see how we get on, and hopefully we get it right. Um, Let's I'd, see how far we get. Yeah, I'm not convinced, <laughs> but we'll see. Let's start this. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do cool. this. Right. So I know you're wondering, what am I doing? Well, it's the 22nd of December and I have got to build four more stalls. Let's put you there. Four more stalls that I built two previously. Some of you may have seen it, but we've got people coming around and uh, on Christmas Eve and we have to have some seating. So I've got to build these stalls quickly so that we can sit. <laughs> Simple as that, really. Right, these are the stalls I'm talking about. Um, unfortunately, I can't remember how to make them. Uh, I did cut most of the wood up, uh, but I can't remember the angles I did, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of mathematics to work it out, and then we can just get on with it. So, uh, looking forward to getting these done. Christine has been moaning about it for ages. Not moaning, that's not true. Uh, she's been wanting me to do it for ages and, and now's a good time because we're now under pressure. Right, I've done a couple of test cuts and I'm now happy with the angles. So uh, cue the time lapse music. Here we go. making a mess Linda okay so down there is all the bits ready just got to do a few more angles and then they'll be ready to assemble but probably not tonight because as you can tell the sun is going down and they'll need sanding and they'll need sanding so I'm gonna cut the angles cut the angles then they're all ready to go and then we can uh, keep walking off. Uh, and then we can um, assemble them tomorrow. Yeah. Happy days. Good. Yeah, beautiful. Are you going to use the same angle or just the other side? You want to check it? Good. Cool. Happy in your work? Well, I'm very happy that last you got to do this. <laughs> But while we uh, finish sanding this, which is going to take a little bit of time, let's go and see what James and Christina are doing down there. Right, 
Right, so the plan is put these battens round the window, round the bottom here, and then when we pull the plastic down, we stick another batten and then that screws it down and keeps it in place. That's the theory, that's the plan. I'm not 100% sure if that's gonna work, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. And then once we've got all the battens on and prepared the second row of battens, we will get the polythene, drape it over and start trying to stretch it on. Um, yeah, it's a uh, something that we haven't done before, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but hopefully, it will be okay. And then, how does the plastic go over there? I thought the plastic was just going to roll around. Well, it is, but you have to stretch it onto something. So, I cut the frame. Hmm. And see, this one might have to be separate. This bit here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know until we've got the plastic on. What you have to do is you pull the plastic down here and then you screw this in. But the way I saw it is they had two battens. So the first one, you pull it over it and then the second one pushes it in. So it's hooked over this. Problem is these aren't square, which is now seeing what the problem is. It's a pain in the ass. I don't know why you suggested to put these round ones in. <laughs> no? <laughs> what was your what was your thought process when you when you decided to put the round ones in? Yeah, I might need to remind you that I think I thought that those round ones were like overkill. Right, anyway. Hmm? Remember? All right, come down here. I'll show you. I'll show you the easy part of the plan. So this goes on here. What we have to do is lay one down. Stool. Lay one down first so it's flat. Put this on top, screw this one in, and then you place this one. You pull the plastic down. And... Oh. Oh. Should we go and have a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling with this so much. I don't understand. So I'll put one at the bottom. At the bottom. Got the screw there.
on the She's run out. Rush hour. Mm. <laughs> they wait to cross the road. They wait for the shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, we renovated this outside space last year, which we absolutely love. We have our morning coffee here. In the evenings, we play cards, even in the winter, but it's a bit cold. We do have a chimney, but we don't always uh, light it. Uh, we had a great Christmas Eve here with our friends, our barbecue, and what was needing, or what it's needing is, um, a heater and uh, thanks to you guys uh, your generous people up there that buy us coffees and go to our super thanks we bought a little outside heater which will make this place a lot more comfortable and what I'm gonna do now is paint the conduits and the little fitting bits to match what we already got here and James shall uh, install it tomorrow so Sunday is his birthday and uh, we shall have another barbecue but this time just a bit warmer so that's what I'm going to do uh, that's what I'm gonna do now and uh, hopefully by the end of tomorrow we'll have some heat in here which will be great Tell you what, it's brass monkeys today. Freezing. 
there's a north wind and it's blowing down and it is ice cold although it's very sunny um, hopefully the wind will drop soon and we'll get back to nice temperatures but that wind is bitter um, right so while we can't do anything down in the polytunnel because it's too windy we want to put the cover on it but um, it's a perfect day apart from it's windy so we have to wait uh, until the wind dies down we'll get back down there but in the meantime I'm going to put this heater up that uh, Christine has mentioned uh, so that's my job this morning and uh, we'll see how we get on with that Um, instead of going straight up, up there to that post, uh, post that uh, beam down here to here, and then the the unit's going to go there. Uh, I've decided to go to the corner up and around because it doesn't interfere with Christina's parents' um, old tools. I don't want a black line going up there, so I've gone round the long way. Aesthetics more than anything else. Okay, what I've done is I've drilled a hole into the side here. I mean, obviously you can see what I've done, but I've drilled a hole in here. This is gonna connect to this socket and then I'll repair this, push all that back in. Um, and that will go, as I said, all the way up there. And it's gonna have another socket over here. So it's an extension of this um, wiring here just to a new socket, so that's not a problem. Yeah, I'm feeding the uh, wire through the conduit as I go because there's too many bends and I just don't want to be messing around. It's easiest to just do it like this. And I'll just connect it all to the wall as I go. got a level of the center of the table I'm gonna mark it up there and that's so that I can place that evenly so that the heat will be distributed to even side of the bench here so that we can or the table so that we can uh, distribute the heat evenly so there'll be no complaining that one side is warmer than the other Beautiful. Whew. Right, all I've got to do now is wire up that end to a plug, wire up the other side, and we're done. To the dodgy world of wiring. This socket has a 1.5 cable which is for um, lights. Uh, I thought it being a 
a um, socket, it would have a 2.5. I can't run that off of there, it's too powerful. I'm gonna have to change these cables. Oh. Mamma mia. These things are sent to try us, I guess. Yeah. Why would they put a... Mm. Okay. Still haven't done it. As you can probably hear, it's very windy today and we need a calm day to be flapping plastic everywhere so we won't be putting that on just yet. But I'm going to work in here because this is rather embarrassing. We've already cleaned this out once before. Uh, I've got to tidy it all up again, getting ready for the next stage in here of what we're planning in the future. So, yeah, this is my job today. Christine is so messy. Uh, yeah, it's going to take me some time, so I'll just. Uh, oh, I know a party trick. Uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this. Uh, a one, two, three. The big day has come. Time to put the polytunnel back. Roof back. Bidip bump. Has come. Time to put the polytunnel cover on. Still a little bit breezy, but it's okay. The plan of action is to unroll it and put it on the roof tunnel. It's quite simple, really. I think it sounds a lot easier than it's gonna be. Yeah. Especially with the breeze. Yeah. Here we go, we're done. What's that? I don't think we need to do anything, hun. <laughs> Just leave it like that. Got a couple of bricks in it.
by the way, I just want to thank Sean for my hat all the way from Yellowstone. Thank you very much, Sean. <laughs> okay, you do that. Cool. Yeah, that looks straight. Yeah, we just need to readjust that end. Yeah. Ah, man. It's hard work. Happy in your work? Yeah, I'm hot. Yeah, you're sweating. I'm sweating. That's calories being burnt down. That's Christmas dinner on its way out. You know what that is, don't you? What? Tighter than a duck's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going now the other side again. He's looking good. Look at this. All nice and tight there. Yeah. Getting there. course when it gets to 40 degrees here that would just be a molten mess of plastic <laughs> <laughs> we'll be able I to think duck. what will happen is the tomatoes will be cooked before we can pick them Ooh. I'd like to know what the temperature is in here because it's hot <laughs> Bam. looking good look it's all stretched up on top yeah yeah that's pretty good yeah. pretty happy with that just got these two ends to do uh, and then put the window in and we're going to board. Hello. <laughs> it looks quite nice like this. Yeah, come here, come here. In a tunnel. Come on. <laughs> in your own time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Okay. We're going to board this off here. We're not, obviously not going to use plastic. This is going to be a window and this is going to have timber on the outside uh, for some reason. I don't know what Easy that reason. reason. Huh? <laughs> Easy reason. Yeah, reason. <laughs> yeah? Are we well, we could actually stretch some plastic over there and make like a secondary panel. We could do that. Yeah, but, but I'm thinking that if we do some plumbing, an irrigation runs through here and it can run through there if we have to. And not Keep just that, that, at some point we might even put another window there. Because as we're not lifting the sides, you need ventilation through well, we've got it. a window. As I was saying, if we if we get a solar a panel uh, and just a 10, 15 watt fan in here, nice big fan that can just blow air through yeah. and run off the solar. And when the sun's not shining, it yeah. doesn't need to be spinning. So that might be an answer. Just Oh, we need these two. <sighs> yeah, okay. We'll see. Everything's but it's like, definitely hot in here. It is warm in here, isn't it? I mean, it's quite warm outside. It is about 4, 4.30 now. Yeah. And it's twenty in here. And it's actually still warm out here. Which is incredible for... Uh, uh, what are we on? The 14th of January? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's hot. Hold on, Linda. I am. That's what I do every day. <laughs> it's because I'm your leader. That's what I like you to think. <laughs> or shall I rephrase, that's what you like to think. Huh? That's what you like to think. I lead nobody. Yeah. I'm a follower. No, no you're not. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Good. It looks good. It looks I mean, very that. good. But I didn't think it was going to be quite as hard work. Never far, are you, buddy? Go. 
you're making that look hard work. <laughs> it's because you burnt the knife. You know what I mean? All right, pull that out. That's it. You Sally can wait. I'm going to cut it, darling. Okay. We haven't cut these yet. Okay. There we go. There. Good. Have you put one at the end? Yeah, I've done it here. Okay. Why is that not on you? Because that's just the way it is, darling. So we're cooking Because you need a hammer, which I keep saying, but you don't go and get. I dropped enough hints. Well, the nicest way to probably put it is just ask. I did. I said I need a hammer. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Your gopher? No. Okay. I'm my personal chef. My cleaner. <laughs> you might have to take that one back. I didn't mean that. She's my wonderful wife who I love dearly. And without I'd be nothing. Oh, He's so charming. Uh, sincerely. But at least my tools would be in order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bec because you'd never touch them to do anything. Oh. Huh? That's a bit evil, can evil. <laughs> I think that is the truth. <laughs> like Just before the sun goes down. That looks pretty good. A few little creases, but kind of everything so once we've fully secured the two ends this bottom bit this bottom bit and both the other end we shall cut this plastic away uh, put something on the corners here to protect the plastic there but I think that's turned out really well what do you reckon spaghetti huh? I said that looked like it turned out really well I think my my two years in the planning, meticulous planning of this poly tunnel has paid off. Would you not say? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I always well, say. I'll tell you once I have vegetables to show for it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna put an automated watering system in this poly tunnel. So that Christina doesn't kill the plants. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put my. You're such a joker, James Fraser. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put my uh, huh? put my skills on this watering system. Huh. Riveting entertainment. stones around so, so it well, just stop the weeds growing at the moment but this way then you might get water in there how's it going to get water in there it get water in there if you cut it the water will fall on top how's the water going to get in there i don't know i'm going to cut the other side sounds to me like you're making that up as you go along christina the storyteller <laughs> uh, look at me with the poly turtle yeah. I never thought 
it would happen. Fernandez Holbert is uh, promises. Hmm? You will have a police and only promise. Yeah. So uh, well, like all promises, I never say when. <laughs> no.